Listen up, you blundering fools. It's time for the Cracktastic Plastic Podcast. Get all the toy talk your evil heart could desire from these little poops. Jason, Elgin, and Spooty. <laughs> Yo, Joe, and welcome to the Cracktastic Plastic Podcast, where a group of friends get together to talk about one of our shared loves. Sauerkraut. Toy collecting. We're here to celebrate how these little colorful pieces of plastic can transform you into a little kid again. If this is your first time listening to us or watching us on YouTube, where you you should definitely go check it out there. First of all, thank you so much for giving us some of your time. We really appreciate it. Right, Spooty? Yeah. 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 But you're also going to learn. Yeah. You're also going (laughs) to learn soon enough we are not toy experts. That's right. Finger quotes. You'll see that on YouTube. Go there. So we're not going to get all the details right. But speaking of details, let's introduce everyone. Hi, I'm Jason. That's what they call me. Over here, this is Elgin. Hi, I'm Details. No. And that's Spooty right there. I don't know what's going on. (laughs) So the usual. Yeah. The usual. Join us as we share personal stories and experiences that led us down the path of toy collecting. From this, the nostalgia of childhood favorites and the allure of rare finds to the excitement of discovering new lines and the influence of pop culture, we uncover the diverse and often surprising factors that spark our collecting habits. Mm-hmm. Getting those collecting triggers is what we're talking about today. Yep. Uh, then Elgin's going to take us on a tour over to a store that, oh man, you can't wait to hear about this. Yeah. That's right. And then we're going to hear from you with Spooty on your thoughts and your triggers. That's coming up later on the show. You can follow us on all the social media platforms, including Patreon. That's our favorite, really. It is. should go there. But all those links can be found on our super cool website, cracktasticplastic.com. And while you're surfing the interwebs, please... Be sure to stop by our sponsors page, toyhacks.com, for all your repro label needs. They have an armory there. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. You get some uh, toy-accurate 3D-printed weaponry and tons of amazing sticker sets. That's what they're known for, for all your toys. We also have a monthly contest that Spoonie's going to tell you about. Yeah. So we do do a thing. (laughs) That's right. And that's toy... Oh, (laughs) just (laughs) And that thing is... (laughs) It is. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to learn what this is about. What, what are we doing? Contest. <laughs> where where, where, where am I? <laughs> this is your house. This is, yeah. Um, we do a caption contest, and you caption it, and it's a contest. Get it? And if we pick it, then you get the, the prize. Yep. Which we- is... Uh, five dollar, uh, toy hacks coupon. That's right, because they're awesome over there at Toy Hacks. So be sure to comment so that you can win the five dollar coupon to Toy Hacks at ToyHacks dot com. Yeah, that's what those things. That, All those things. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Well, right now we're going to talk about what toys we've picked up lately in a segment we call Thrill of the Hunt. <laughs> Listen up, you fools! If anyone knows more about searching for the most unique items in the world, it's me, Cobra Commander! In my reign as Cobra's leader, I have acquired countless items, but those meddling Jews have foiled my attempt at worldwide domination over and over again! But it's the thrill of the hunt that fuels my superb rule of Cobra! Pay attention to my loyal subordinates as they tell you of their latest exploits and acquisitions. It's the thrill of the hunt, Cobra. Sauerkraut? <laughs> what are these? All right, <laughs> Elgin, you should. You guys don't get to see but <laughs> during those, but Elgin was showing off his awesome new shirt in ways you cannot imagine. But anyway, let's go over to Spoonie. What have you, you picked? Save that up? one for Patreon. I That's guess. Right. <laughs> what have you picked up lately, pal? What? Fran, do you I got have... I got a bunch of shit. Oh yes, it's been a minute since we recorded, so yeah. this is going to be uh, an all Cybertron Impactor. Here <laughs> we go. Next, <laughs> <laughs> this is a speed round. <laughs> Not really, uh, which uh, surprisingly I've never had. Same, 
Uh, Wait, who is this? It, <laughs> Impactor. It's oh. one of those that like come apart. And weaponizer. Weaponizer guys. That... Yeah, he comes apart. You can build them like as weapons and armor for other. So he becomes a weapon for someone else. Yep, and armor. Yep, more more armor than he becomes weapon. armor for someone else. Yes, <laughs> yes, for for like any of them, for more for for shot. anybody else. God damn it, <laughs> this was speed round. What happened? Derailed. Yep. Ooh, that's cool. I have. Uh, this is actually really really nice. I like this. Uh, this is the uh, Studio Series Rise of the Beast Optimus Primal. Um. With his, his swords and his chains and his axe. And, you love movie toys. Uh, the chain, <laughs> so the the chains actually connect to the ends of the sword, which at the ends of the sword is the, uh, the Matrix thingy. It comes apart. Or the key or whatever. Yep. Uh, it's been a while since I've watched the it. The giant banana? Um, yes. So at the very tips, I put them on there so you didn't have to hold it. Um, and it looks better on the sword. It's very cool. But so yeah, you could do the two swords on a chain thing. Oh. Um, cool. And he's got a, a pretty decent transformation um, comparatively for most of the Optimus Primals, which is um, you flip his head from <laughs> ape to to robot. Yeah. <laughs> ape bot. Um, his hands and feet both change and like completely. And at first glance, he's like, oh, he's gray. But he's got lots of tons of different shades and silvers and shiny and not shiny. And, and black. and Lots yep. of black and gray. And silver. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty. Transformer I can see. Yeah. Um, then I got a a Machine Wars uh, sound wave with his uh, rocket. I do not have the um, the radar dish. Loser. Just, well, yeah, no, I nobody does. Pay the extra like 40 some dollars for... Tiny little, which yeah, I, there, so there's some knobs and stuff, so you can actually move, uh, so you can look through it and stuff. And yeah, I can kind of see through it. It's um, like not overcompensating for anything. Nope. Yeah. Nope. This. I mean, this is a sound wave. Yeah. Yeah. Which is weird because he's yeah he's never really been in that <laughs> mode, but Machine Wars is just hey, this, is, w- this, <laughs> toy's, this toy's cool. It's. It's a, a repaint of a use. repaint of a late G one European toy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. If, if you would have said, "Hey, guess what this one is," I would <laughs> never, never, never would have said Soundwave. Yep. Ever. That's a lot of them in that line. Um, I got an it's Action like Master, Rocket Boy. which is complete. Which I also, I unfortunately uh, didn't Masters. didn't see in the picture, and it was never said uh-huh. that his his hips have been like glued together. Aww. Aww. Ooh. Which is fine because he oh. stands Yay. up fine. Yay. Like, he doesn't do anything. Thanks for the help. Um, but it's a devastator. Oh, and then so I forget animal. what his name is, but he's got a little. S- um, I don't, I'm just... He's got a little action feature sort of. Scorpio. Where his, his, <laughs> his oh, the expectant the top and Scorpio. And... That's fun. Yeah. And full of action. Yeah. Yeah. Do you oh, have yeah. many action masters? His, he's got some. Um, I have butt glue there. One uh, wheel jack, wheel jack in his car. That's like the only one I have. Yeah, I think I have a prowl with one arm. You, can use one of those. you don't. Want um, I got mine. a Beast Wars Polar Claw. Polar Claw complete with his little bat thing and Polar Claw. Hardly know her. So he's got a couple action <laughs> features, which are. A little, so he's got a little, uh, do the thing. Do the, do, oh, oh my god, that's man. awesome. Um, but his bat also like bat? sticks on there, and yeah, he's got a bat. bat. Oh, it's I thought it was like an actual baseball bat. Um, <laughs> um, it doesn't really <laughs> kind of shoot off, but like the wings fold up, and oh, that's cool. when it pops off there, the wings pop out. Beast Wars. So he's a polar bear, yeah. Um, it's actually a pain in the ass to transform. Mm. Um, Interesting. Because his head only goes one way. And so he, ha- he actually has two faces. <gasps> two faces. Oh, I see. Um, so he's got like his, uh, apparently there's a battle mask, which is what he has. Mm. He just flips his bat to and decide on his options. Y- yeah. It's a two face. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I got a G1 Omnibot. 
uh, Downshift, who is in pretty good shape. He's a little, a little dirty. G1. But. So that was one of the mail-aways. Oh, cool. Um, got a pretty good deal on him. He's normally pretty damn expensive. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Um, Oops. That's fine. No weapons already, right, I said. So no weapons? There? No, no weapons. Let's see. Yeah. So fringy. Yes. <coughs> That's round one. Here we go. Round two. Yeah. There's two more that go to get well. Oh, so yeah. one I've had. Clear off the space. <laughs> Clear off the table. Yeah. And oh, it's a precursor. Never mind. It's it's uh <laughs> Brunt. 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 Who if you haven't so that's War for Cybertron. Brunt. He's also kind of a weaponizer, also. Um but he in that form goes with this big fella. This oh my god. Oh, Wide screen. That's a kaiju. Um, even though they are different <laughs> toy lines. Like, yep. But they go together. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'd pass he's him around, big. but he's... No, I can see him from uh, here. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, Craig Tice at Plastic Con. Ooh, that's a fun show. Yeah. yeah. Um, picked up this guy. Minus his one missile. Oh. Launcher. But he found it. For... For... Was it... Stupid. It's like 75. 60, 75 bucks, something like that. He's like $300, $300 all day. Jeez. And then I found one that was just the body uh-huh. and that Completely one stripped. missile. <laughs> with one guy. Just that one shoulder cannon yeah. for like 40 bucks. So right. Still. Yeah. Half but he's got a robot on his chest, too. He does have a robot on his chest whose name I can't remember. Um, chest that, is a, that is a headmaster. And I think he's missing one of his arms. Which is stupid. I, yeah. He can I just, just stay right there. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. But he's, he's got his gun that comes with yeah, that. What a beast. Yeah, That's so crazy. we're going to do the show from behind him. Does he move, like, with battery so armor? <laughs> um, I don't think, think so. so. No. But he does turn into a big city. Big. Like the size of this table. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He should transform him. Not um, now. Yeah, but... <laughs> thank you. I have to get, like, the island and the kitchen cleared off. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Yeah. yeah, he's That'd pretty. Cool. So, this guy's sitting, so he sits up there, out up here somewhere. Yeah, More weapon, right there. Ah, <laughs> cool. Right, cool. That's cool. <clears throat> Thanks, Booty. He's a beast. Yeah, I'm so jealous. He's really loud. <clears throat> yes, he is. A little... All right, yeah. Elgin. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna start. Well, I'll start with these Ghostbuster Yay! figures. Um, I do have the Ecto one. I it's uh, downstairs. So cool. Um, but I want to show off these figures so I can put them with Ecto yeah, <laughs> to display yeah. them down and get them out of the box. Uh, so this was from the Frozen Empire uh, movie. They they had all these figures out like two weeks before the movie even came out, and then a week after the movie, they were all gone. Like they clearanced them off, and then yeah. they were gone. And I think I got all of them for $5. I got, yeah. I got Ecto-1 for like $15, half off basically for that. All genomics. Yep. So we got... They have all four of them. They do have the little ghosts. I forgot to bring. I think Ethan was playing with the ghosts because he wanted to play with all the Which fright cool. feature. The, the yeah. fright feature ghosts, the little stretchy Weber type things. Uh, but where there's Trevor Spangler, Traver, right there. Um, they all come with little packs, and then they can actually um, hold one them. hand there. Well, I found that if you put it in one oh. other hand like this, and then move it like this yeah, in the yeah. other hand. It feels they can kind of hold it. I don't think you'd ever do that <laughs> because it's you yeah. can attach it to the pack as well, the 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 wand, but you wouldn't want to like put it over like, anyway. Yeah. So, but you can do it like that for display purposes. Like five dollars, but for Fine. five bucks, and they're and you know, so you know, cool for five points of articulation basically. But they look the head sculpts look pretty good, and you know they're they're basically all the figures from. That they came out with, I don't know why they they got rid of them so fast. <laughs> like they had them out on an island, or in the in the center um, display, and then they like took them down immediately. Uh, and then we have Callie Spengler, the mom. Um, basically, they all basically are the same. <laughs> they just need a different head sculpts and, and bodies, mm-hmm. a little bit. And then uh, Phoebe Spengler, Phoebe. of course, the star of the movie this time around. And then Paul Rudd. So, got him. Gruberson? Gary Gruberson, uh, <laughs> who's 
Awesome. Hanging out with Callie and soon to be the stepdad for, hey, yeah. for, yeah. <laughs> for yeah. Trevor and uh, Phoebe. But yeah, that's all four of them. They come with a, little, each, a, a different um, fright feature as well. Yes? It's not... It doesn't really look like yeah, that. Yeah, no, but... I thought about trying to find, like, an Ant-Man head yes! and, like, sticking it on there instead. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got that far yet. But, cool. yeah. Anyway, that's that's all four of them from the Frozen Empire Ghostbusters movie, which is a great movie. And, uh, but, yeah, I basically got them all for five bucks. And uh, an Ecto-1, that's pretty cool. I'll have to bring that another time to show them. And uh, now they can hang out and fight ghosts in the basement, I guess. <clears throat> Uh, and then I got found a couple more of the WWE superstars. These are from Series Eight. Uh, we got a Doink the Clown. Oh, and there oh, he is. There. Yeah. <laughs> the crazy. I was trying to remember like stuff about Doink the Clown, other than I know multiple people yeah. played him <laughs> uh, as a character. There's a Dark Side of the Ring on him, isn't there? Isn't might be. I, I can't remember. check it out. If there is. Uh, but he does come with a, a soft goods kind of nice. uh, coat, which is pretty nice, and it's pretty brightly colored. Um, this was just one. I don't really know a lot about Doink other than he, like, pranks people a lot and, like, ruins you know, matches and stuff like that. But he looks cool. Yeah. And, you know, it's one of those things that you see it and you have to buy it. Yep. <laughs> uh, even though... You don't know that much about them, <laughs> and you just have to get it. Your trigger went I'm, off because I'm triggered to, to, to buy. Uh, huh? So you need to be supersized in a 5.5 inch scale. Speaking of which, here's another Hogan. <laughs> here's another. Except it's not really. I mean, it's Hogan, but it's it's also the not. it's the late 70s version of Hogan, mainly when he was. And they don't mention it on the thing on the card, but if you look at him and how he looks and how he's. How he has chest hair and how he has longer sideburns and longer hair. It's basically Terry Boulder. Yeah. So in the late 70s, 79, 78, 79, he teamed up with his brother, in quotes, Ed Boulder, who's basically the, the, um, I'm blanking on the <laughs> Brutus Beefcake. That was Ed Boulder before he became Brutus uh, Beefcake and the barber. And they teamed up and in like, Memphis wrestling era, uh, late seventies, and they were a tag team, but they on the car they call him Hulk Hogan, but it's it's Terry Boulder. <laughs> he does come with like these black soft goods clothes, uh, like a shirt and pants, which in a promo that he did, um, he's wearing that with those glasses and everything. So I'm guessing that's what they took it from, mm. from seventy nine. But yeah, that's his stuff there. But yeah, it's another Hogan. They've now made that one. They made an NWO version, and they made like a WWF version. Uh, I don't know about that chest hair there. It's, it's, it's painted weird. on. It's kind of yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's kind of the the very early beginnings of him being called Hulk, um, and it was just you know, and him po- posing and just like stuff like that with that. A lot taken from Superstar Billy Graham. Like, a lot of how he looks right there is a lot taken from Superstar Billy Graham. Of course, I also have this Turtles of Grey's Skull figure. Uh, My daughter got this. Well, I I knew it came out at Target. And I was actually up in Ames the day it came out. But then I didn't get a chance to go back because they put them out later. So Mm. I I messaged her. I was like, hey, if you go to Target and buy this, and I'll send you money. (laughs) So she found it and got it for me. That's badass, dude. So this this is uh so all of these crossover series of the Turtles Grey Skull are basically Master the Universe and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is a version of Slash and Faker combined. And for me I would want to call him Slacker, but I think they call <laughs> I think they call him Slaker. Like slash faker, like faker took slaker. the hard day and not the yeah soft day. for whatever reason um, they call it. But he's a big boy. He's yeah. the mold that they used was the um, Andre the Giant mold. Speaking of which, that's the other figure in that Superstars line is Andre the Giant that I'm missing. Oh. The the kind of late seventies. Keep Andre. your eyes out, folks. Yeah, he even comes with an extra Afro head sculpt. Oh in too as well. yes. Anyway, back to <laughs> back to Slaker. So he's, um, I do have a vintage Slash, um, 
and I, a vintage faker, but this kind of combination is just awesome. So it's almost like a Megator slash 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 faker. Yeah. Um, the way they they use that, and his, so he, his head is giant too, and his his and, you know he's a snapping turtle, so obviously he's going to be bigger than most normal turtles, and he's got a giant uh, shell on the back that can be used as a shield that pops off, and then he can hold that as a shield, however you want. Comes with his own the weapons. Uh, normally Slash would just have one of these like sword things, but uh, he comes with two, which I think is nice. And they're all colored in the, the Faker colors. Yep. And one of the nice things too, under his armor, so Faker had like a little kind of reel-to-reel sticker, look like um, for like computer. On this one he has that, but they're little pizzas, which I thought is, is cool. The, the the circles are actually pizzas. And it also feels a little like battle damage versions. Yeah, exactly. Of Motu. Yeah. But yeah, he's... Freaking cool. He's pretty awesome. <laughs> I mean, That's... giant and just like... So that came with... That That was part of the Build-A-Figure line I as well. I thought so, yeah. Um, so not uh, finding out that not all deluxe figures like this figure are, come with Build-A-Figure parts. That um, they have the Krang one too. Wow, his neck moves. Yeah. And I and I don't oh, have... Uh, that one didn't come with the Build-A-Figure part. This one does. This comes with um, a head and... The bottom part of it, well, Damn. part of his legs, it's amazing. like his groin and thighs, <laughs> I guess, if you think yep. of it that way. Not the calves or feet. Um, yeah, to scale, he's quite a bit larger <laughs> if you compare him to like uh, Hogan there. So, yeah, he's just pushing, towers over him. Pre- seven. Pretty accurate for uh, Andre, though. Yeah. That's so, yeah, high. Andre will use that same uh, buck. Book. If you think of it that way, um, for his as well. So awesome! That's so great. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, what's in and, the box? And and one last thing, I just got this over the weekend, and I did a video. It'll be out tomorrow, but when you hear this, it'll have already been out. So this was a Mattel Creations exclusive that just came out on the twenty second of May, I believe. Uh, and it is. Extendor. And there he is. First time in the Origins. There's a look at the, the back. Sweet artwork on the back there. Dude, you've been waiting for this guy. I don't know if I've been waiting for him, but yeah, it's nice to have him in the collection. And it does come up. So what these uh, exclusives, you can actually pull the card back out, and it's like a removable thing. So for collectors, they can, which they should be doing all the time anyway. Yes. For Mattel Creations, uh, but you can uh, kind of move. I'm gonna take it out. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it does come with a, a new comic book as well called "The Terror of the Technomancer." Uh, kind of describes his uh, how he was created. Uh, it comes with a little accessory of a shield that also extends. And mm. Pops. I thought it was a ring. Yeah. Either way. So they should do that kind of packaging with everything that does the blister pack. I know. They uh-huh. should. Anyway, that extends out like that. It actually also extends up. I don't know why they would want it. The, the vintage one did that too, and it didn't. But they never show it. Like, they show it. Ever. This is how you should have it, but they never show it, like, extra. I don't know why. Okay. There's that if you want to look at it. <clears throat> um. So he does come with these extension pieces as well, because the way they made it, so nor, so the vintage one, you would be able to extend everything out within his body, um, mainly because of the articulation in the arms and legs. They can't do that with Extendar. They can do it with the body though, so you can pull his head up to extend out his head, and you can pull his torso out to extend it out like that. But if you want to extend his feet out, you have to pop off his feet, stick these other pieces on, and stick that back on to extend out his feet and arms. Because of the extra articulation in his elbow, they can't have it running back up into his arm, which they did on the vintage one. The same with his legs, because they want knee articulation. Which I assume you appreciate. It's, it's nice, yeah. It's, it's cool. I'm glad they kept some of it. Some, you know, they didn't have it connections for all of that. I thought that was nice. Yeah, um, they actually kept some of it similar to the gimmick. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it looks awesome. And 
<laughs> you can. It's a fun thing too. You can pull off these arm extensions and like attach them to his feet if you wanted. So you could have like super long feet. <laughs> little T Rex arms. Yeah, a little regular arm, but like he's like go go gadget legs over something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> or like arms. You could have his arms like extended out. Fun. I think uh Jason's Jason Zabornik was like, I got two of them, so I can see how many I can extend out. <laughs> They're like four <laughs> extensions on his arm or something like that. Uh, but yeah, he's he's pretty cool. Yeah. Likewise. He was originally a good guy, but then when he got his powers, he became evil, but then became a good guy again. Uh, Hordak gave him his powers because he wanted to like be the most powerful person alive. That's a good reason. Yeah. That's awesome, man. And they kind of, um, on the card back. It's a nice uh, Captain Morgan stance. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Um, They do a little Easter egg here of showing Drag Store on the corner here. They haven't released him yet. They've released all these other figures. They've released Hordak, Leech, and Grizzlor. Grizzlor was a Mattel Creations exclusive. And they even show the Fright Zone in the back there, too, which I think is going to be a place that I, th- I think the fans voted on that. And then there's the city, the Hordak City. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like when you, in the cartoons, in like She-Ra, you'll be able to see that. Whenever they pan to like Etheria and go to the Hord, the Fright Zone area, they show this kind of like uh, building, this black building in the background. So, cool. Yeah, I just kind of. I don't know if they're gonna make one. I think people voted on it, but it didn't win. But yeah, is he putting on his shield? There you go. So he does show up. So I knew Extendar was gonna be made because on the Eternia playset, on the the box art, he's there. He's, That's fun that you, they yeah. change the art so much that they can just add little Easter eggs like that. Yeah, and they've been doing that for a while of like. Showing what figures would be next of, uh, you know, you can kind of probably stand maybe. Uh, but yeah, he's he's sitting on top of Grayskull, tower, the, uh, Grayskull Tower on the very top. So I'm going to put him up there when, just to display him. He's going to stand up just like on the box. Awesome. So that's, that's the plan is to kind of recreate recreate the box art with, um, <clears throat> with all the figures that I have because I know. Cyclone is. I'm gonna have to hang him down from like a wire or something like that because he's like float, you know, flying around. But yeah, that's all I have. That's a lot of stuff. But <laughs> oh, just not wait. Everything. Yes, I know. Not still not everything. <laughs> no. All right. Well, I too will try to go fast. It's been a while, and I'll start with a not transformer. Uh, this is one of I know Spooty and I's favorite uh, cartoons. Uh, Max. Uh, they made figure out of him and comes with a little is he has his little battle mask on too and hair piece and that all comes off if you want um just what a neat that's cool little dude and uh, and i'm happy to I, i really wanted to find him loose too just so i could have him out and play in and max so cool what a great show what was it mtv I feel like it was MTV. Yeah. Yeah. So weird. So weird. I mean, it's, yeah, I should watch it again before I endorse it too hard. Uh, <laughs> all right. We got uh, Bumblebee movie Shockwave. Um, he's a big old boy and pretty freaking awesome. Uh, he's got a weird, like, pancake head. They really squished it. It's <laughs> neat. But uh, has his little tube for his gun and all the things you love about Shockwave. In robot form, anyway. Turns mm-hmm. into one of them little spidery guys like normal tanks. Spider. Got a triple changer. Sandstorm. Love those colors. This is the best Sandstorm yet. I mean, the is Thrilling it? 30 was awesome, but this is amazing. It's They did... Uh, with a lot of triple changers, they end up sacrificing at least one of the modes, mm-hmm. you know, to get a good robot or whatever. But okay. all three of his modes are really great. Um, comes with this little cage. You can reenact stuff from the first episodes and things. Okay. And um, they went with his uh, toy head, which is the only real piece of contention. The fans, you know, so there's third parties making you know t- uh, cartoon heads for him, but that's his toy head with that weird battle mask, which is fine. Which also means there's just going to be another damn version of him come out in six oh, months. So normally he doesn't have that mask. 
Yeah, it's more of a humanistic sure. face. But that's his uh, toy head. That's cool. So, that? so robot and behind you. So he's robot and dune buggy dune and buggy. helicopter. Okay. Yeah, I can kind of see the helicopter propeller on the back there on top yeah. of his head. Yep. Spin around the bat tail one. Really great, cool toy. Um, we got. Uh, I'll just do them together because they're always together on every shelf I have. We got <laughs> Sunstreaker, and uh. The other guy, oh, sideswipe. sideswipe. Jesus, what's my brain? Um, one of them's from the movie, and this one's from uh, Bumblebee, the movie, or and then the other's a gamer edition. Sideswipe, the red one's a gamer edition. So, two completely different lines, but they came out at the same time. I got them at the same time. They're gonna be on my shelf at the same together because they always are, and they're brothers, uh, from the, from the original cartoon. And, um, yeah, cool, they're great. Little toys. Um, speaking of redoing toys, they mm-hmm. put out this blaster one more time. This is the uh, Studio more Series time. 86, but they changed the deco. Like uh, the grays in his legs and toe, feet are different. His chest window is not clear. It's uh, you know, he's got a just the way it's painted gray is more like the cartoon. His head is white instead of gray, like in the cartoon. And then they brought his little uh, rewind. Eject. Eject is opaque now instead of clear plastic, So, which we all want. None of us ever, most of us ne- don't want clear plastic. It's just so much more fragile and okay. breaks over time. It looks cool. but yeah. yeah, it looks awesome. But with so many moving parts and the whole concept of a transformer and moving and the pressure you got to put on things, like we're all pro clear plastic. It mm-hmm. makes for cool toys but Definitely. it's uh transformer fans don't love it because gotcha. of that um new out here new mini bot we got gears gears uh finally got hmm. him again he's really great um if anyone can name that movie you just could gear anyway Comment uh, below. <laughs> dogma but uh well, give it away oh you're, yeah right in your yeah. answer He's good. I think his chest folds down, and there's like a place for stuff that goes on in an episode or folds up. There's like some molded detail in there that's neat. Cause, but uh, yeah, he's awesome. He's got a great, you know, pretty true to his face head sculpt because it's just so weird, but updated modern. Um, you're gonna have to help me on these, Spooty. I already the original transform. Oh yeah, see, here's the original gears. Oh, he's tiny. Tiny little guy, but the same kind of like chunk face. His with head, the, yeah, that little. But the little wingy yeah. parts too. Hmm. And the colors are pretty close, yeah. all things considered. Yeah, neat. Cool. Uh, these guys, I I played the long game on Mercari with a uh, seller. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had them like so expensive and. He just finally gave in and marked them down, and then I bid them down again. And what are they? The Power Dashers. Power Dashers. Some of the first Transformer guys. Super simple transformations. Um, there's one more that's a drill. Spooty Bryant has them back there somewhere, but um, they're in decent shape. You know, they're being so old that chrome is normally rubbed off. A lot and they're just yellow now you can see it on that one but but not bad you know yeah. not bad i think they're 10 bucks a piece so i i don't both for 20 so i can't complain mm-hmm. there yeah. uh got got myself one of them girlfriends and i got to take her to mm-hmm. uh jay's for the first time oh, how'd that go it was awesome <laughs> Because, you know, when uh, you walk in, alarms go off. They're like, a girl's in the store. What do we do? It's just every, all the dudes' heads are turning. And you're like, what? It's awesome. Uh, but it was cool. I must have just added that. Oh, you don't hear? Oh, I see it every fucking time a girl walks into those. It's awesome. But I uh, uh, found a couple things in there. Um, I know I was looking for something for Spooty. A Cyclonus, they didn't have one. Hmm. It was a bummer, but That's all right. got a. I, I forgot that you already got one. <laughs> no, I 
I had ordered it after. Oh, so okay. I just got this. Oh, you did get a Cyclonus. Yeah. Cool. Pretty. Yeah. Um, see update. Josh has a Cyclonus. Update. Yeah, start yeah. over. <laughs> um, see a Starscream by a Starscream. Um, I knew he looked familiar, but I didn't think I had him. And um, the Classics version... They redid it again in Universe, which was the next line after that, mm -hmm. and they just made him more cartoon accurate. Yeah. And I didn't realize it till I got home. I'm like, oh shoot, he doesn't have his null rays, but not a big deal. Um, I didn't, I didn't have this one actually, and you know, for it's ten, shocking. fifteen bucks, I know. So it's a great mold. It's fun. Um, it was. Uh, I I got to watch Tiffany tried to. Well, she did it. She was her first transformer was this guy, and she watched me turn him into a jet because she's like, I don't know. And then she turned it back. It was pretty fun. Um, but yeah, he's cool. I like him a lot. It's that just that lighter gray, and mm -hmm. and then I finally found this guy, Storm Cloud. He's the third of this mold of Power Glide. Uh, there was a gray version first in universe, and then they're like, duh, we need a red one. And then they made this evil version one called Storm Cloud and found him at Jay's too. Heavy. Yeah, he's a big boy, and I think he's he's missing a gun too, but again, 10, 15 bucks. I can't remember. Um, I was like, yeah, I still had to get him because he's a regurt. I know uh, we we saw him somewhere on tour or something, sure. and I was like, ah. And it was a good price in a box. And I'm like, oh, yeah, man. And yeah. so I've been looking for him ever since. And he was just there. I'm like, well, yeah, I got to get him. Hmm. Well, he's fun. Just turns into a big old jet thing. Yep. You like those jets. Yeah. And then lastly, speaking of our awesome sponsor, Toy Hacks, uh, part of the bunch of stuff I got from the toy lair, I got Defensor. And I spent two or three hours taking off all the stickers he had and putting on Toy Hacks versions. And he turned out awesome. He's just such a fun toy, a great character, a fan favorite. He's just a good guy doing good things and doesn't get featured enough. But yeah, love Defensor. Pretty, pretty Stay. blue. Yeah, and he's great. I'll, I had, I had, I have a bunch of not all of them individually, but mm -hmm. I didn't have like the chest parts and stuff, and oh. so I'm like, uh, from a knockoff I had before. I mean, this gotcha. is a Timu one two, but it's like as good as the original, as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. My original knockoff is like the old Easter basket, super cheap. Oh. Like you can. From Kmart. You can physically feel the crappy plastic quality, right. you know, like so. Break it in an instant. Yeah. So I was happy to get them replaced with a good one. Huh. But all right. So. Oh, oh two more. Oh, I got to get Jeez. these done. I got to get these done. <laughs> all right. So I can put them on my shelf. I Hell got yeah. these Page Puncher Transformer comic books. Little two sets here. Um, I can't see on the back who's who. So I'll just. Oh, we got a Bumblebee. Yeah, Bumblebee and Wheeljack. Nice. And one. And we got an Optimus and Megatron on this side. Includes a comic. There's a comic in there. Includes two English comic books. And two little articulated dudes. Yeah. But I'm never going to probably open these because oh. they're not. Well, because look at. They're the super oh, yeah. creased plant. I hate that. It's like it has to be destroyed to open. You have to, to cut open. it to open it. Yeah, if it was like, you know, those little pinch little pops uh -huh. you could, on the corners, uh -huh. you could unfold it. I'd be fuck yeah, I'd take those so, out. These are McFarlane. Yes, because ones. they've they've been doing a lot of those for DC. Yeah, you'll see those. But it was just yeah, these two yeah, two McFarlane. packs came out of nowhere and. Yeah, I think I saw the they're the, cute and adorable the and they're, announcement of it. And they're fairly inexpensive too. I don't think they're maybe fifteen, thirteen, About fifteen a buck. Okay, all right. That's There's enough. no more surprises back there. I got more, but I decided yeah, to. I mean, I got a whole box. I know, there. I know. <laughs> oh, we need to record more often. <laughs> Shows going weekly now. Just kidding. Um, what? <laughs> yeah, we got to buy some Been more. Invading your house more. <laughs> so triggers. Yes. Not the horse, Spooty, Mister Funny Pants. For, Hilarious. It was. It was funny it was, for us. It was pretty funny. Um, yeah, so when you're out and about... Whoops. Sorry. I kicked the table. 
What it, what what gets you going, Elgin? Uh, lately it's really been like the superstar stuff at WWE superstars. Like as soon as I see them, Yoink. I'm buying them. Like because I know how hard it is to find them. One mm. one, they're so o- scarcity is a yeah. big point. Yeah, one they're only at Walmart, so I have to like look at every Walmart. Yeah, and I'm like, do they have them? You know, with with Motu leaving Walmart seemingly, right? There's not really. I'm, and these are basically five point five in scale. They're basically Motu figures. Yeah, but they really are. They also hit that nostalgia of like vintage wrestlers as well. So it's like that little nostalgia dust mm. plus scarcity. Love it. Plus five point five inch. Oh. Plus, you know, articulation of origins. It's 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 it really just like I saw so that Hogan one. I, I found it in Marshalltown when I went up to my parents' <laughs> house. They had like, I was like, I went there. I was like, oh, I see all of these um, superstars. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get this whole wave. They were literally all, all Hogan's. Hogan. It was like ten. Ah! It was like ten Hogan's. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? And I had to look through them all just to make yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the doink, I think I found an Oski. I'm like, all right. Then it's like, <laughs> I'm going to find Andre here too. Nope. No. <laughs> More it's Hogan's. So that... It's like the one, that was like maybe one or two doinks there. And then it was like Hogan's. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, come on, people. I know he's popular, but come on. <laughs> right. He can't be that popular. <laughs> I know. But yeah, for me, it's that Motu stuff. It's kind of, usually I can find it at Target and Walmart. Well, it used to be Walmart. Or lately, it's just Big Bad Toy Store, just pre-order stuff. And now, I think they're just moving to an online presence. So, really, that's going to be more pre-orders and more Mattel Creations exclusive. So, that's not... But even with that, like, exclusive stuff, I'm, I'm you know, waiting <laughs> before it goes live. So, it's like, as soon as it goes, I got to, you know, buy that. Because it's going to sell out. So, really, it's scarce. It seems like scarcity... Of figures and, and of course price as well. I mean, mm. you know, I'm a, I'm a, the I have my PhD in Elgenomics. That's right. With a minor in Thugonomics. My, but, <laughs> he said that and then laughed. Did you hear that laugh? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, you, know, you got to be thrifty. You got to yeah. bargain shop. Uh, yeah. These this stuff adds up. Yeah. But, I mean, with the attorney, like the the crossover stuff that. WWE Tourney Align, that was like instant grab. Cause oh. Because I, I knew it was like, as soon as I saw it, it was like I was already grabbing them. Same with these superstars. It seems like the same way. Um, really, that's that's the one that's like really jumps out of like, I have to get it. <laughs> like, and I don't even realize it. Like, it's already like in my hand. Um, same with these, if I could find these Turtles of Grey Skull lie, you know, in the, in the wild. I think I did that one Walmart, but... And I grab those immediately because once it just again, that's hits those it's, it's like two. Now it's like two at once. I got Motu and Turtles oh, together. <laughs> you didn't stand a chance. Yeah, it was yeah. like I was already doomed. <laughs> 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 but yeah, for me, yeah, I guess it, it comes down to scarcity, that nostalgia, how it hits nostalgically. Yep. And price <laughs> is a big part of it too. Like clearance stuff. If I'm if I'm trolling the clearance aisle, you know. Clearance makes you see toys in a new way. It like, does. I it, never would have looked at that. But since you're three dollars, uh-huh. maybe you're coming home with Well, me. these Ghostbusters figures are a prime example of that. You wouldn't like have like I found the Ecto one first. And I was like, that's cool, Ecto yeah. one. Yeah. And it's half price, okay. And then I'm like, Well make, can I get find the figures? Found them all clearance off too. I'm like I guess I'm a Ghostbuster off. toy like, collector. And you know, the main for me, it's always been for me is collecting if there's X amount of figures in a wave to get them all to complete it. You know, as a completist, it's like, so finding all four, it's like, okay. I was going to mention your turtle affliction. I mean, <laughs> your turtle your, affliction. You, you love yeah. turtles. It's nostalgic for you. You it have is. them as kids, but you can, don't always just buy turtles. Yeah, I have to go buy all four of them at once if I'm, if I'm buying You them. go from, like, not... I mean, you care. You want to see them, uh-huh. but, like... When you see all four together, you're like, "Whoop!" Yeah, that's if I it. if I can get all four of them at once, I will. 
then you can't not do it. Yeah, it's very hard for me not to get all. <laughs> there are four times of them you're months. like, oh, thank God, there's only three. I don't have oh, to get them. Oh, today. totally, yeah. totally. The 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 when they came out with them, the classics, the the movie star movie ones, star ones, found all four. Boom, dang, yeah. bottom. And their price was good. They were ten dollars a figure. So yeah. like, that's not terrible. When don't the, even know that I cared. I wanted them, but I saw all yeah, four at once. Exactly. Had to get them. Yeah. And I didn't have them as a kid, but they were like, that's cool. And there's all four. Yeah. The Mutant Man, when Mutant Man first came out, I was like, all four, boom. That's all I'm getting. Yep. That. And then they came out with the At battle. The yeah. And then they came out with the battle packs. <laughs> like, can I get all four? Got them. They were on clearance. Extra bonus. Got all four of those. <laughs> so it's like, I know it's repaints, but it's like, I found all four turtles, plus it came with extra figures, plus it came with displays. I didn't plan. I didn't. Never wasn't what a planned on. Wasn't it. wasn't planning on buying it, but ended up getting it. Your trigger was all four yeah. turtles at once. Found that that pizza van for super cheap. Yeah. Um, on clearance, it was like nineteen dollars. <laughs> Normally forty. I'm like, boom, got it. <laughs> it's like, had to had had to pick up that one. Yeah, it's it's clearance, like pricing, scarcity, and and nostalgia. I guess. Yeah. It's the triangle of, <laughs> of doom. Of Triggerhood. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Spooty? What uh, can't you resist out there in the world? All the Transformers. <laughs> we know um, all the Transformers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, any that I don't have that I see in the store, I want to get. Uh, I hate like pre-ordering and like buying them online. Mm-hmm. Uh, at least the new stuff. Yeah. Because um, you love the thrill of the hunt. Yes. Yes. Even same. though I know I'm not going to find them. Not going to always get them all. Um, or, or hardly any of them. <laughs> Sometimes. Because Walmart sucks and I never leave town that, that it's often. Down, it's down time right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. I, and then like I'll, I'll look at like Legos and stuff too and like mm-hmm. if they're marked down. Does that, yeah. What's the deciding point that makes you go from, I'm just looking to, oh, I got to have that. Um. Well, I mean, like the Optimus Prime one, I paid full price for. So, um, it kind of depends what it is. There's, there's a couple that I've paid full price. Um, and what made you take that leap? Well, there's the the one Just, white Lamborghini that looks like a Transformer. Yeah, like breakdown. Uh-huh. So I had to get that. Yeah, paid full price for. Same. <laughs> so um, because it reminded you of a Transformer. Because it's yeah. the exact Transformer gotcha. alt mode. Yeah. Um, I mean, I like the, I mean, Legos are too fucking expensive. Yeah, um, true. So you need other reasons to get them besides I love Legos. So I, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I usually just stick to the, like the, the cheaper ones, like the 20 and under. Yeah, true. Um, which is why I have like all the, the little, little sets. Mm-hmm. Um, and like, okay, like occasionally I'll get some turtles and stuff like that, but like it's always... With with that, they have to either look really cool, um, or be on clearance. Um, I mean, I did get like the the four. I don't know what line it was where they redid the originals. Yeah, uh, of turtles. Yeah. Yep. Like the comic book ones or the classics. The classics. The classics. Classic. Classic. Okay. Because yeah. they just came out with a the, another the another. well another version of like sure where they all have the same mask color because that's what it was in the comic books. Yeah. Which I don't like that. I don't like yeah. the look of that. I think yeah. that's part of it too, the look of it. Like yeah. and they don't look like vintage trailers. They look like the weird Are they all like black and white though? No. Because that's why no, they were all but... wearing the same in the first place because yeah. it was a yeah. black and white comic. I'm trying to think what no, they're color, but they're all have like the red mask. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they don't look good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, so I mean it's like a little bit of nostalgia, like I don't go to enough toy stores. I mean, I did go to Jay's on this Wednesday because I happened to be up there, which they didn't have crap mm-hmm. <laughs> that I wanted to. Yeah. I mean, they, they had a couple, but, like, they were, like, way overpriced. So, um, yeah. So a lot of it's filling the holes, filling the gaps. You know, when you see something that you need to fill the line in or... Your yeah. collection that's just like well, I got uh, I wasn't planning but I gotta get it because it so it's like a G1 it one and it's like in decent shape I will probably pay m- more than 
really should be. Yeah. <laughs> Just if it's like I'm missing one of them. Sure. Like that one usually becomes the most expensive. It's probably why I was missing it in the first place. <laughs> Yeah, for me, it's all the same, all the things that you guys said, too. I would just also add that, like, so just thinking of it, like, everything that's not Transformers for me. Right. The thing that makes me go, I'm buying this, <laughs> is are things that are, like, weird stuff, uh, not normal, usual stuff. Like, it's hard to walk past anything that's glow-in-the-dark. True. And you're like, well, I don't even collect that, but that's freaking glow-in-the-dark. Uh -huh. So... That's cool, and I want to have it on my shelf or uh, clear, see through. Sure, you translucent. Know, translucent. Pla if it's or if it's like weird and gross, you know, like a mm -hmm. Mad Balls or a Toxic, or you know, just mm -hmm. like something weird and gross or has some sort of horror element. I'm like, oh, let me pick that up and look at it. This this guy's made out of eyeballs. <laughs> I don't I don't collect Power Rangers stuff, but uh, sure. this bad guy is freaking cool. So if there's a, for me, if there's like some cool, weird horror element to it yeah. in a toy, I sure, that definitely makes me pick it up and look at it. Yeah, I almost picked up some <clears throat> glow-in-the-dark monster truck, Hot Wheels <laughs> monster trucks, because right. they were glow-in-the-dark, and they were that, like, they had all four of them, too, uh -oh. that they put out, I was like, ugh. I'm like calculating in my brain. In my it's brain, it's like, one slash four, two slash four. Yeah. And three. You're like, oh no. Yeah. Oh and, no. <clears throat> on the back, you know, they list the cross all, all the stuff. Oh. And I was just like, oh, do I want to spend? Them? And then it came down to, do I even? Because they were all full price. Not that oh. it was like a lot, but it was just lot. like, oh. <laughs> I don't. I, I passed on it. Yeah. yeah, I own more. But I, I did think about it for a while. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I went to see if they were all there. I'm like, okay, uh -huh. they're all here now. Add up the price. <sighs> Can I spend this on this? Or should I buy something of the other lines that I already spent money on? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah. I don't collect Hot Wheels, but I have half a dozen Hot Wheels because they look like Transformers. Sure. Or they're cool... Motu ones, mm -hmm. or you know, like our toy adjacent mm -hmm. ones. That Skeletor monster truck is That's so cool. freaking cool. The, the Battle Cat one is cool battle, too. I have both of those. They're so great. Um, yeah, I don't collect Hot Wheels. If, but... Yeah, that's the thing. If they were, I, I, I almost want to get that party wagon. Right. Uh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> making plans. On yeah, uh, but yeah, if it has a Motu something on it. Then I'll probably buy that. Yeah. Like that's that's probably gonna trump any glow in the dark or any uh you know, turtle type stuff is Motu Hot Wheels. So there's gonna be like a hierarchy, I guess, yeah, in my brain yeah. too, of like what what's more important. I mean Yeah, what are those things that are outside your toy line that yeah. makes you buy it? A lot of it's price well, for outside for, toy outside. lines it, it's it's price. Um most of it's clearance. Makes stuff. you feel safe to take a chance sure. on something. Sure. Yeah. Um, a lot of like the Marvel stuff that I picked up has been clearance. The GI Joe classifieds have all been clearance. The your battle cycles and your yeah, all the wrestling. A lot of the wrestling stuff has been clearance. A lot of like the elite figures and and because uh, it's not that we don't think figures. all toys are cool. Right. Because all toys are cool. Yeah. We just can't get all the toys. I, I can't justify <laughs> yeah. buying something outside my main focus with <laughs> with something that's full price it's it's already bad enough that i that I have to that i have to pay <laughs> that i have to yeah. pay full price on on the toys that i love <laughs> i know yeah. it sounds ridiculous but it's like for for you know motu stuff or even the charles of gray school stuff and which you know it's basically another motu line i know i just got the Turtles, uh, Universal Monsters crossover. I got, oh, I got yeah. the last the one ones. that I have. Those NECA ones. I got the creature. I should have brought it today too. But it was the last one I didn't have. But I'm like, this is outside of my line. Yeah. But I gotta have it because it I has my. Yeah. It's two of my favorite things. That right. helps. That helps. It does. Us. If like it's just add, one thing. I'm like, okay. Yeah. But you put two together. Yeah, it's like adding your interests. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. like the more interests it yeah. has together. You know, so if I it's like, <laughs> yeah, that's all, that's all I get. So if it was like horror related plus turtles, turtles. plus if they combine it with Motu. So if the, this Turtles of Grayskull oh. was like 
horror related as well. Yeah. Or even like wrestling stuff that's like they do crossovers with that as well and they do, you know. Or just stuff. the color scheme, you know, yeah. like this is 90s fucking oh, yeah. gorgeous. I, ridiculous. Yeah, lo- I love all the colors and all these graceful ah. stuff. Like it's, they, they're just it's so killing hard not it with to, that. I know. Yeah. I'm, oh. all, I'm all in on that. I mean, <laughs> yeah. for that stuff. So. so that was a little insight to what goes into <laughs> our brains when we're in the aisle yeah. at the store. There's a lot of voices talking at the same so time. Of like, <laughs> and calculations of like. <laughs> and So tell us what your yeah. Yeah, triggers exactly. are. Do you have any help to give us or what, what goes on in your brain? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's madness in here. All right. We're going to take a little break. We're going to tell you about the PFPN. That's our podcast network we belong to. There's like a bunch of other shows. We all share a cool website, thepfpn.com. That's where you should go to check out all these other cool sites. Mm-hmm. Um, and this uh, nice lady is going to tell you about it. You're listening to the Prescribed Films Podcast Network home to hundreds of hours of free podcast entertainment. The shows on this network all have a common goal, providing you with the best discussions about movies and other forms of entertainment media. The PFPN hopes to fill your ear holes with audio joy. Visit our website with links to all the other amazing shows at www.thepfpn.com. Thanks for listening. All right, we're back, and now it's time for Elgin to take us on a store tour. All right, today's store we're going to is called 5280s. That's a 52 is written as the words 52, and then 80s is the number. I know it's a weird Explain yourself. I can't. It's found at 1874 South Broadway, Denver, Colorado. Uh, it's basically an 80s-based store, uh, cool. kind of a retail store with wall-to-wall toys from, you guessed it, the 80s. That's right. It has G.I. Joe, Moti, Wrestlers, Ghostbusters. I think they were selling one of the a firehouse, and they had like a bunch of other figures from that line. Uh, E.T., Strawberry Shortcake, Voltron, and much, much more. Did you know that the cheeseburger was trademarked in 1935 by Louis Ballast, who operated the Humpty Dumpty Barrel Drive-In, which was Colorado's first drive-in restaurant? They have a monument showing that they trademarked the word cheeseburger over there in Denver, Colorado, where you can find 5280s at 1874 South Broadway, Denver, Colorado. And knowing is half the battle. <laughs> All right. Time to hear from you guys. Here's Spooty with Talking Toys. After. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's <so> irritating, Jason. <laughs> yep. Um. Apparently I wasn't quick enough with the coming in on that. So that's it. I will take longer because he loves silence. I mean, you're still talking. I'm still talking, so he can't cut it out really. So he will, maybe. We'll see. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so after scouring the interwebs, which is a keyword for there wasn't many comments. Um, the best one was from uh, Patrick Strelko. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't even remember which. He runs what group? Bandit you? Toys on Facebook. Is it? Yeah, okay. I got a burp stuck. I hate that. Yeah. Package art draws me in, but the toy has to be cool for me to pull the trigger. True. Package art does a lot. Stop pulling your horse. Can you think of an instance where package arts like took you over the edge? Well, it makes you, it's the first thing you see, at sure. least gets it to your hand. Mm-hmm. A lot of the, well, even Moti stuff and the Turtles of Grey School stuff has great uh, card back artwork. That's why I keep most of it. Um, 
it's, prob- some, it's probably what brought those when they first did those reissue turtles this last time. You're like, is this? It looks a lot. It, like, looks, it looks so close. You're yeah. like, I need to. They even had the little file card thing on the back uh-huh. with all the you know the art the uh, the descriptions and everything and. Yeah, it was great. Like seeing how close it was, um, it, it made me kind of wish that that the <clears throat> Motu did what Turtles Classics did when they were making Motu Origins was to have them so close mm-hmm. <laughs> to that. It's one thing they've taken a little liberties with the Motu stuff to make it slightly different, but when they did, we did those Turtles. They yeah, they it, literally like read it. <laughs> it gets it into your hand anyway yeah. because I'm like. Well, the turtles, they're not, I mean, they're great toys, but they're not great toys. Yeah. They, but it's that packaging and yeah. the, the display, the presentation yes. of it. That's it like, was great. okay, I need to take these home because yeah. it feels like original. It did. It's the, yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Patrick. And thank you, Spooty. You're welcome. Hey, all right. <laughs> that was well, probably loud. Huh? I liked it. Before we go today, we definitely want to. Encourage y'all to stop over to Apple Podcasts. You heard of that? Leave a little five-star review. Just a teeny, tiny, little, itty-bitty five-star review would be great. Tell your friends. And if you want to help out the show a little bit more even, head over to patreon.com slash cracktasticplastic. Get in there. Get into that fun group chat. Uh, We're sharing toys. Uh, We've been the bane of Bill's existence, and it's been great. (laughs) Yeah, it's fun. Uh, It's so fun torturing (laughs) him. You need the Voltron. He's oh he's getting. I mean, it, he's getting. It. He's, but he's in trouble. He needs more, more of these turtles and yes, as well. Yes, he does. <laughs> but also, one of the cool perks is to get your name read on the show, like these fine people here: Tony Miller, Chris Turnip Simmons, Peter Glinsman, Alex LaForest, Bill Fisher, Michelle Pizzullo. These peeps are amazing, and we really appreciate your support. You guys rock. Uh-huh. All right, well that's it, guys. I think oh. We're gonna call that a show. Yep. It was a good one. I'm going to go have me some sauerkraut on uh, something. Heck yeah. Okay. Well, thanks everyone for watching and listening. See you next time. Bye-bye. Later. (laughs) Thank you for listening to the Cracktastic Plastic Podcast. But not so fast, my foul memes. Don't forget to follow these fools on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And visit cracktasticplastic.com. I'll be back. <laughs>